Conceptual and theoretical frameworks are often important components of the research process, including research conducted for research theses and research papers by student researchers. Due to the overlapping nature of these concepts, many student researchers and junior researchers find it difficult to clearly differentiate between conceptual framework and, and theoretical framework. In today's presentation, I would like to briefly differentiate between conceptual and theoretical frameworks. We will also define what is a framework and what is a concept and what is theory and what is a conceptual framework, a theoretical framework and what is the uh, relationship between these frameworks with reference to the research process. So first, a framework actually is a structure or set or system of ideas or concepts that the, the ideas or concepts are actually or systems of ideas or concepts are part of the research process and a framework or a structure that actually weave together these the, the main concepts in a particular research study um, can be considered as a framework. For example, the framework that you can see in the diagrammatic representation here is a framework linking together con the conceptual uh, or the concepts and the analytical processes and the theoretical processes. So we can call this an example of a framework. Now, what is a conceptual framework? So first of all, what is a concept? A concept is actually a general idea of something. For example, with reference to psychology or education, um, intelligence is a concept. Personality is a concept, learning is a concept, and motivation is a concept because these are the general ideas of certain constructs that are used in the fields of social sciences, especially in um, psychology, um, in education, and sociology, to name a few. A conceptual framework is then basically the linking up of the main concepts um, um, in a particular research study. For example, the relationship or interaction of motivation and learning can be considered as a conceptual framework in a study which focuses on the interaction or exploring the relationship between motivation and learning. Now, Theory and theoretical framework. A theory is actually, um, we can define a theory as a more nuanced, objective or scientific understanding of a concept or a relationship among concepts. So theories may also be referred to as models. Um, so for example, the theories of motivation. So we just, uh, in our previous slide, we discussed um, the, co the, the concepts of motivation and the concept of learning. Here, uh, there are certain theories related to motivation. For example, need-based theories related to motivation and the process-based theories. Similarly, the theories of learning, for example, the cognitivist theory uh, or theories, the behaviorist theories, and the cons constructivist theories. So these are examples of theories. Now, a theoretical framework is basically a process of interlinking and analyzing a set of theories that drive the exploration of research questions, objectives, or objectives related to the main concepts in a study. So, the analysis of theories of, uh, of learning, for example, and the theories of motivation, 
with reference to the central questions or objectives of a research question could be cons- could be termed as the theoretical framework in this case linking theories related to learning and linking theories related to motivation so for example the impact of teacher motivation on student learning so if this is a study that someone wants to conduct these this uh, researcher will actually deal with a conceptual framework uh, that in that will include the concepts of motivation and learning and then they will also be dealing with the theories of of motivation and in learning which will actually um, in a way represent the theoretical framework um, in this particular study so to summarize so far the conceptual frameworks revolve around the interlinking and analysis of the concepts in a particular research study while the theoretical framework actually revolves around linking up and, and analyzing the various theories related to the particular constructs or concepts um, in, a, in a particular study. Now, the conceptual and theoretical frameworks uh, could be diagrammatically represented like the one that you are just seeing here. Um, so although the conceptual and theoretical frameworks are represented distinctly in certain studies but because there are points of overlapping between concepts and theories because theories are actually uh, scientific explanations of concepts and their relationships and similarly concepts make the basic ingredients of theories so we can say there is some distinction between between conceptual and theoretical frameworks but there are also points of similarities or integration or overlap between conceptual and theoretical frameworks in any case the concepts are at the center of both the conceptual framework and the theoretical framework so that's why you can see that in these concentric circles the red circle um, represents two important concepts learning and motivation for example if there is a study of relationship between these two concepts and each of these is then represented by or analyzed in the light of of theory so there are certain theories of learning and then there are theories of motivation so the <clears throat> theoretical framework will consist of the theories related to learning and the theories related to motivation so as we can see the green circle here is representing the bigger circle that has the the smaller circle of concepts inside it and that actually means that the theoretical co- um, co- uh, framework um, might include the the conceptual framework inside it so there there might be certain studies where the theoretical the conceptual and theoretical represented uh, theoretical con- uh, frameworks are actually um quite clearly and visibly overlapping each other and so we can say that at the very center of the conceptual and theoretical framework are concepts Um, and then these concepts are elaborated on and analyzed in the light of theories related to those concepts and then uh, we can have a combination of the conceptual and theoretical framework so you can either give separate titles to these two concepts in a in a particular research study or you can include these two uh Uh, overlapping concepts uh, under one title in in the particular study again as you can see that studies who have smaller number of concepts um, there will be less complex conceptual and theoretical frameworks while while studies where we have more concepts 
where we are trying to establish relationship between more concepts, there will be more complex um, conceptual and theoretical frameworks. Similarly, um, studies with a top-down structures such as quantitative research studies or, or research studies that follow the positivist paradigm uh, where theories are actually confirmed or, or in other words in confirmatory studies we will have um, clear conceptual and theoretical frameworks in the beginning of this study while in studies uh, with a more inductive approach such as qualitative research studies, we might not have very clear conceptual and theoretical frameworks, but towards the end of the studies, we might come up with uh, conceptual and theoretical frameworks that actually come out of, of our data. In other words, such conceptual and theoretical frameworks will be grounded in the data. So in that case, um, you might have certain studies where, uh, or even certain research proposals or, or research paper where in the beginning of the study, you might not have clear or visible representations of the conceptual and theoretical frameworks, but they will come uh, more, they will become more visible towards the end of the research uh, process. So, to overall summarize once more, uh, the conceptual frameworks and theoretical frameworks actually represents the interaction between concepts um, and theories in particular research studies. The, at the very core of both the conceptual and theoretical frameworks uh, are actually concepts. And conceptual and theoretical frameworks give a structure to the research process and the researchers' clarity about the conceptual and theoretical frameworks in the study will indicate that uh, the study is based on um, very concrete foundations and that is why it is regarded important uh, for researchers, especially student researchers, and they're expected to come up with, uh, with clear, detailed, and elaborate conceptual and theoretical frameworks in their research studies. Thank you very much for your time. Take care.